How you doing everyone and welcome back to the Azza official channel and today we are getting into 2024 Royal Rumble predictions. Now before we get into it, it's a new year 2024 for this channel that means new content is coming out. Again thank you so much for 400 subscribers, I honestly appreciate each and every one of you. The next big goal is 500 subscribers and after that the aim is to hit 1000 subscribers. We keep climbing to the top, I couldn't do this without each and every one of you. Like I said this is a new year doing new content wrestling is one thing i loved since i was a kid so let's get into the predictions so as i'm filming this i've just seen the go home edition of raw and royal rumble is coming up but by the time i release this video it's going to be out on a friday so currently there are four matches on the card right now there's the men's royal rumble the women's royal rumble the fatal four-way match for the wwe universe champion and also the United States Championship. I'm gonna predict my top five predictions for the Rumble matches. For the two other matches, I'm gonna predict my winner and an honorable mention as well. First, let's get into the Women's Royal Rumble. So at number five, I'm going with Ivy Nile. Now with this one, I think that they're really trying to give her a push. I think that she can have a push straight away. And WrestleMania 40 could be the place to challenge either Rhea Ripley or Io Sky. It might be a bit too early for that, but let's see what happens. My number four is going to be Liv Morgan. Now, Liv Morgan has been out. Obviously, she had an incident a few weeks ago, but definitely, I think she's going to make a return. And with Liv Morgan, this could be her way back at top. Back when she was SmackDown's Women's Champion in, I think, 2022, I think she has an amazing chance of winning. My third pick would be Nia Jax. Now, since she's come back, she's been on top, beating Becky Lynch in that match she's had on Raw. And I think with the Royal Rumble, she has a very high chance of winning it. I could definitely see her facing Rhea Ripley. Let's see if that happens. For my second pick, it's gonna be Becky Lynch. Now, she could make history as a two-time Women's Royal Rumble winner. Obviously, the dream match is for her to face Rhea Ripley for the Women's World title. Let's see if that happens. But my number one predicted winner for the Women's Royal Rumble is Bailey. Now, I could see so many storylines here. She could either go to Raw and try and get the Women's World title and if they go in that direction, Bailey could be holding the women's world title. Eo Sky could still be champion at that point. I honestly think Bailey would challenge Eo Sky. I think Damage Control could be looking to kick Bailey out, and them two could be in a feud at WrestleMania. So there you go for the Women's Royal Rumble. Bailey is my number one choice to win the Rumble. Up next, we have the United States Championship match between Logan Paul, who's the current champion, and Kevin Owens. What I think would happen on the way to WrestleMania is going to be Logan Paul versus LA Knight for the United States Champion and I think they're going to put LA Knight over for that one. But at the Royal Rumble, my pick is going to go with Logan Paul to defeat Kevin Owens at the Royal Rumble for the United States Champion. Now for the third match, it's going to be the Fatal 4-Way match. Now in this match, we have AJ Styles, we have LA Knight, we have Randy Orton and we have the current champion Roman Reigns. My prediction for this match is going to be Roman Reigns. The reason why I'm going for this is that he's just going to retain. Especially on the way to WrestleMania, they're not going to have him drop the title just at the Royal Rumble. He's got two potential big matches, either against Cody Rhodes or The Rock to defeat him. He's the tribal chief, he's the head of the table. I just don't see him losing at all. But if I'm wrong and he does lose, my honorable mention would be Randy Orton. Again, that would be a dream match, but that would only happen if The Rock is definitely coming back and is definitely facing Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. That big match doesn't need to happen for the title. So the only person that does make sense for Cody Rhodes to finish the story at WrestleMania would be Randy Orton. No, Randy Orton is also on a hot streak. It's hard to see him lose a match right now. The Viper is a definite strong contender for this match. But that's my honorable mention. My predicted winner for this Fatal 4 match is Roman Reigns. Now for the last match on the card, it's the Men's Royal Rumble. And again, I'm gonna go through my top five predictions of who I think could win the Rumble. Now starting with number five, I'm going with Gunter. Now this isn't just my prediction, a lot of people predict him to win the match. He could go on to face Seth Rollins at WrestleMania for the World Heavyweight Championship. He's the current Intercontinental Champion. The reason why I put him at number five is because I don't actually think he's the top contender to win. There's the dream match with Brock Lesnar that can happen. There's so many other scenarios that he could be in. The fact that he is Intercontinental Champion, he's already got a 
place at WrestleMania, so I don't think he needs to win. Definitely in the future, he is a future Royal Rumble winner, but I don't see him winning this year. Now, my number fourth pick is going to be The Rock. Now, he could come back at the Royal Rumble, said he wanted to sit at the head of the table. I honestly feel that if The Rock does come back and win the Rumble, it would be like a Batista situation, winning the second Rumble and then getting the hate from the crowd. It would be good, but I just don't think it would be the right choice, especially with Cody and CM Punk being there and them trying to finish their stories. Now, my third choice is going to be LA Knight. Now, he's already in the Fatal 4-Way match. I don't see him winning the Fatal 4 match and I think later on that night he will show up in the rumble with Seth Rollins being injured he could challenge for the world title you never know what can happen he was definitely one of the best superstars of 2023 and in this new year in 2024 he's definitely going to get that mega push he is the mega star so let's see what happens but that's my third pick LA Knight now for number two I am going with Cody Rhodes now the reason why I chose Cody at second is because I don't think he would win back-to-back -back rumbles now there are other ways to challenge Roman Reigns through the Elimination Chamber and so on. And I definitely want to see Cody Rhodes finishing the story at WrestleMania against Roman Reigns. I know The Rock versus Roman Reigns would be a big match, but I would rather see Cody Rhodes finish the story more than The Rock versus Roman Reigns. There could be a triple threat, who knows what would happen, but that match was just rumoured, so it's highly likely that Cody Rhodes would go on to win back-to-back -back Rumbles. But for the Men's Royal Rumble, my prediction winner, my number one choice is going to be CM Punk. Now, I had to wait until I saw Raw to see what Seth Rollins would say, and what Seth Rollins said was that he didn't care what the doctors think, he's gonna try and make it to Wrestlemania as World Heavyweight Champion. Honestly it could be a story for all we know. It could be a dramatic heel turn. I don't think the injury is fake but I definitely think it's not as serious as it could be and I think it will be included in the storyline. I think there could be a heel turn and if CM Punk does win that is gonna be a main event to see CM Punk versus Seth Rollins for the world title and I think we all predicted it when CM Punk came back at Survivor Series. That is my prediction. I think we can all see it coming. My top choice would be CM Punk winning the men's world. Rumble. So there we have it, my predictions for the Royal Rumble 2024. Again, for this year, I'm trying to do new content on this channel. If you're not a wrestling fan, you might be after this. And definitely for a future, I'm looking to do new content, you know, more traveling, hopefully more gaming videos. I'm still doing my music stuff. I'll possibly even love to collaborate with other YouTubers at some point. But that's my predictions for the 2024 Royal Rumble. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and also hit that notification bell so you won't forget the next video and we'll see you soon.